do it. You can do it. Begin the stream. And, you know, stuff. There we go. Mm. Okay. So, fun fact, uh, this is a Tuesday. There's a maintenance going on in about 24 minutes, so this is really going to be a speed run. I'm actually going to be setting up the land for thing as I rush out there, because I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to make it to the place in time. Uh, uh, okay. This way. Whoops. No, I'm going to go... Wake up, wake up. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go this way. Ah, right, good. No mod issues lately. I haven't actually logged in a little bit since... Well, not since last week, so I guess there shouldn't be any problems. Okay, um, uh, quickest, quickest, Orgrimmar. Welcome back, wish me luck. Okay, so here's my rules for anybody who actually cares. I'm going to try and upload this to YouTube anyway, so I guess several people can see this. Here's my rules for my speedrunning in WoW. I was doing it on Zalosh, which is this chick you're seeing right here. Uh, she's not a human, she's undead. She just happens to have uh, the dress to kill thing from the daily bot going on right now. Um... She also is kind of going the wrong way. Come on, come on. Gotta get there. Gotta get there. I can't even set this up properly yet until I got a straight line to run in because I'm in such a rush. Yeah, there we go. So, okay, rules for a speedrun. Uh, no looting. Uh, timers, uh, splits happen every time I beat a boss. Now... And that's basically it. Uh, it's always on this character. It's always with this uh, gear loadout to make sure that the times are relatively same. There are certain raids that I simply cannot do due to boss mechanics. Uh, anybody who knows anything about WoW will know exactly what I'm talking about there. Uh, Ulduar comes to mind immediately because I cannot solo Mimiron, for example. <sighs> I didn't. I should have gotten the Dire Brew remote. I have one in the bank. Whatever. Too late. Too late. I'm in route, and this will give me time to set up my uh, thing for this. Okay. What are the 40 little icons at the bottom left? Those are my uh, hotkeys. <laughs> Those are my buttons that I hit. Yeah, I'm a warrior. I got a ton. And I use pretty much all of them, except for... No, I no, I use, I use pretty much all of them. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four of them are macros. Four of them are pets. One of them is an item. Otherwise, yeah, those are all abilities. <sighs> That's not a joke. Whoops. Hang on a second. Pedia, Black Lang, Lars. I try to remember all the boss names. Get make sure I'm aimed right here. All right, bosses. Razigor. Bring it on, Razigor. Razigor. Velastras, Broodlord, Firemaw, Ebonrock, Flamegore, Chromagus, Nefarian. I always do all bosses in a raid. That's, I guess, another rule. Like I said, I don't loot. Wastes precious seconds. This is one of the few things... Yeah, I, I mentioned this earlier. I do actually seriously speedrun these, so once I start, I will not be looking at chat unless I'm at a pause point, which there are occasionally. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Eh, there we go. Uh, there will be a pause point in Blackwing Lair because of uh, the room. Anybody who's played Blackwing Lair knows exactly what I'm talking about. Also, uh, Chromagus may kill me, may crush this run, because... Uh, hey, Stuart, and here, everyone. Um, good old hit it with Sharpie object, that's actually Tilda, and I have a macro for that. All right, up, up, up. I always forget which direction it is. It's the... Uh, is that right? Yes, this is right. Zoop. By the way, this is all transmog gear, in case you're wondering. Go away, not worth my time. Actually, I have to kill you because I can't do it in combat. There we go. All right, we're going to start it as soon as the zone loads. Whoa, whoa. So, yes, hand on the orb. And... Come on, come on, come on. Load, 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 load. Why are you taking so long? I'm glad the stream is good quality. Boom! Timer started. Let's do this. Oh, shoot. I completely screwed up. 
I will take this. Uh, I will take this timer penalty of like five seconds because I got to switch over to tank suit and tank spec because that's the only way to actually do this. In fact, I need to heal a bit for just a bit. I need to be at max health in order to do this solo as a warrior. There we go. That'll do it. Zunk. Da -da -da -da. Kill, 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 kill. Quickly as we can. Taking too long. God, I'm going slow. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Where'd he end up? Right here. All right. So, for anybody who doesn't know this fight, the only way to actually do this fight... Razorgore? Oh, why do I have no music and sound? There we go. The only way to actually do this fight is to destroy the eggs by mind-controlling Razorgore here. Now, they made a change recently to make this much, much easier to solo. All they did was remove the cooldown from Destroy Egg. It used to have an 8-second cooldown, which made this insane. You'll notice I'm just burning through these. Even doing it at this pace, I've got 40 eggs to go through. You see them all across the whole room there? I got a lot of eggs to burn. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not looking at chat at the moment because I really am focusing at this point. This is a real speedrun. It's the first time you guys have actually seen me do a real speedrun. So, let's do what we can. Now you'll notice the possession bar at the bottom there. As soon as that runs out, I gotta re-grab him. I'm gonna tr There's a way to optimize it. So you lose him at a good spot, so you don't actually lose time having to run back. But one of the most important things to do is to not aggro anything on Razor Gore. This is- Whoa, shoot! Lost it. Lost it. It's okay. That's a good spot. That's a good spot. Not to aggro things on Razor Gore, because if you do, he will die a lot sooner than you will. He has much less HP than I do, and much less defense, and much less everything else that you need to live. Now, there's several patterns you can do through this room. I prefer the across method, which you can see I'm going right here. This is just from habit. This is what I used to do back in the day. You can see Razor Gore is already getting mauled. I think this is actually a wipe. Too much aggro on him initial in the initial part of the fight. There is a way I could pull this out of this. Or I could just try to take down the rest of the eggs, but at this rate, I think I'm going to have to try and pull out of this. There's no way. So we're going to take out this, this, and this egg. Then we're going to be weird. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm, 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 doing the, I'm being really risky here. Okay, go, 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 go. I think this is still going to be a wipe. Escape. Get their attention. Throw down. Oh, where is it? There it is. Throw down that sucker. Not in line of sight. Damn it, damn it, damn it. There. Oh, for God's sakes, here! Look! Pazam! Throw it down! Clear this up. Alright. Now, since I'm on this side of the room, new ads should aggro me. Whoops, I got conflagged. I'll just sit here for a second. This is really killing my speed time, I gotta tell you what. No, 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 come on. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Look at me. Damn it! Ah, flank. Okay, so... One of the things I wanted to talk about, ironically enough, is that when you're doing a speedrun in WoW, in my opinion, it is a lot more intense than when you're doing a speedrun in every other game ever. Because, you know, if you're doing a speedrun through, like, say, Ninja Gaiden, uh, or, you know, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, or, you know, Paper Mario, or whatever, it doesn't matter. If you die, if you screw up, if you can do whatever, you know, you all you, all you have to do is just start the fight over, right? If you screw up, your time is screwed up for the week in WoW because of the week lockout thing. Lockout thing. It's very much kind of a all-or-nothing mentality. Uh, I talked earlier about my enjoyment of that sort of thing, optionally. And, uh, and this is an op this is an option basically you know i mean this does not have to be this way well that's not true but my point is i'm doing this i enjoy this because i am doing this out of choice you know, does that make any sense i'm doing this because i want to i'm doing this very much you know one try per week Bra bravery strats this is a lot better start already we're actually going to start doing this side already i really should have caught him earlier last time but yeah, one try a week, and that that's your timer for the week. That's it. Boom. I've gotten really good at Black Temple. The reason I speedrun Black Temple so often is because I actually am still have been trying for the War Glaives of Azanoth for some time. 15 minutes. There's no way I'm doing this place in 15 minutes. So we're just going to do the best we can, guys. You got 15 minutes of this. 
frickin' shut down. I didn't even think about that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm at least gonna get through this. Now he's gonna get these initial four on him here, almost guaranteed. Yep. But if I do this quickly enough, he won't get aggro on enough to really be a problem. There's a trick that only works about 50% of the time. If he's on the side of the room you're on, when mobs spawn, they will aggro you, not him. Like that, okay, that legionnaire right there, do you see how he just ag walked up to me and then walked away? That uh, drake over there is doing it too, you see him just kind of going off in the distance. Like I said, it's about a 50-50 shot, that drake just did it again right there. It's very random, it's very RNG based. This fight is very hard to speedrun. Very hard to solo in general, actually. Never mind speedrun. And what's funny is this is not the worst fight. Okay, I'm just gonna let this fight fall. Right here. Re grab. There we go. Perfect. Now, my health is fine. I'm only down 30k over there. You can see my health on the left underneath the bar that currently says possess, because that's what I'm channeling right now. They're minus 40,000, minus 42,000. They're hitting me pretty steadily. But they will not kill me before I quit take out these eggs. They might kill Razorcore before I take out these eggs. And the server will definitely go down before I finish this place, but I'm going to do my best. I want to see it, how far I can get my actual personal goal. The goal is to take down the Broodlord before the server goes down. I don't know if that's possible. Uh, that's going to be very difficult to pull off. Now you notice I'm actually, whoa, whoa, shoot, I'm actually doing this instead of getting the ones down there first. That's a, a intentional design choice by me. That's because when I do actually fight Razor Gore, I want to fight him down there, not up here. A lot more open and a lot more pro uh, options for moving around, and plus I like open fights better than contained fights if I can, because I like to have the camera zoom way out like this, like I kind of do right now. Last one. Come on, come on. Boom! Now I gotta kill this guy quickly. Because he has two abilities that he can and will do constantly to mez me. And it's frustrating as hell. You'll notice I'm actually blowing a lot of DPS cooldowns because even though Vela Straws is the DPS fight, this guy is without question the rush, you know? And here, the, see, he did, see, he did the stun, and now he does this. Frustrating. Because I'm just kind of glancing at chat every now and again while I'm completely controlled. Twelve minutes left. I'm not sure I'm going to make it to the Brood Lord in that time, but I got him. Timestamp. Uh, what was my time for that? Eight minutes. God, that was terrible. Switch specs really quick. Switch gear. Back into my real gear. Not even gonna heal, not an issue. Gotta catch these guys. Uh, got her. I'm not even gonna bother with those guys. Now I gotta sit here for a bit. He's gonna be like, hey, what's up? In fact, there should be a timer popping up here in a second. So this fight was, uh, as much as that last fight is a coordination fight from hell when you're actually doing it with 40 people. Might as well glance at the chat while the thing is going on here. I beg you, mortals, flee. Yeah, this is, uh, there is a lot going on in most of the really good uh, WoW fights. Combat starts in 18 seconds, you can see it on the right there. Anyways. Uh, yeah, this guy flat kills a person every 30 seconds. It's actually, it's uh, 45 seconds, so I basically have 45 seconds to kill him. I can do that. I guarantee you I can. <laughs> Especially since he's going to be in execution range almost from the get-go. We're going to blow absolutely everything, hold nothing back whatsoever. And if we get him correctly, we can get him before he, he puts his first one on me. That's actually the goal. Because there is no surviving that, and I'm going to have to run back if he does it. Come on, 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 come on. Three. Oh, that was close, that was close. Time's down. That was about a three seconds before he was going to auto-kill me. I think. It was very close. No, I'm sorry, no, I still had about uh, ten seconds. My bad, my bad. Zoom. Warriors only have a couple tricks to speed them up. That hop that I just did, as I like to call it, which is based on Diablo 2. Hop. 
you know, the Barbarian. Anyways, uh, is basically the only thing I got other than charge. Damn it, Stuart. Okay, I gotta take out these guys, because they'll auto-aggro basically no matter what. It's okay, this is a fairly quick fight. I'm gonna drag them with me. Now, I mentioned there's gonna be this pause point here. This this pause point... Eh, I was waiting for that. Is basically the reason why I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to beat the Broodlord, which is the next boss, by the way, in s before the server goes down in ten minutes. I hate this. I know they can. I know you can. Arena. I've been debating if I want to allow that. My normal rule, I forgot to add that, uh, my normal rule with regards to uh, speedrunning these is no consumables. No potions, no elixirs. Food is allowed, but not encouraged. So, you see how slowly I'm moving? It's these suppression devices, these tower things. And they give me this aura, suppression aura. Movement speed reduced by 80%. Time between attacks increased by 400%. In other words, you're attacking at a fourth the speed. Casting speed reduced by 80%. Fortunately, as a warrior, I actually have several things I can do to speed through here. Including both hop and charge, which I will be doing. I think I can make the Broodlord before this. See you around, Aussie. Uh, no, Nindella. A warrior basically only has charge, intercept, uh, and I don't even have intercept, actually. Or, uh, hop. And that's it. Now, I'm saving both charge and hop right now, because I have a much more useful use for them right here. Almost, almost. Oh, damn it, I wasn't quite in range. I wanted to get that guy. There we go. Perfect. I'm gonna grab him. Now, you notice I'm not even bothering killing these guys. That's because they are literally not worth my time. All of my attention is on getting through this slowing section. My charge is already back up. As soon as I'm in range of the Broodlord, that's the that's the boss right up there. I'm going to just charge right at him. I guess I can get rid of this. I don't need Omen for this. It's just as a habit to keep it up. Come on, come on, come on. Almost there. There it is. Now, you have to hold him up against the wall. It's very important. Because he does a knockback. And that knockback can knock you right back into the slow. Now let's go ahead and boot. Oh, timestamp. Got him. Wow, I'm doing a lot better than I thought I was. Okay, this room is actually really hard not to aggro stuff in. These guys have a huge aggro radius, even if you're level 90, so there's a very specific pattern that I don't even know how to explain uh, that I might actually screw up here. Nope, made it. Made it perfect. Next boss. This guy's actually really easy solo. This is, uh, this is the kind of guy you can out-level. See, I'm just demolishing him. What he does is he does the flame buffet. It increases the amount of flame damage you take. Timestamp. Uh, which doesn't mean anything at this point. Now, Chromi is the fight I'm actually... Chromagus is the word I'm actually... Fight. I'm actually worried about because I don't have any method whatsoever to free myself from his abilities. It is literally going to be a pure DPS race. I have to kill him before he gets me with all his abilities. That's really all it comes down to. Uh, this guy is... Uh, one of these two is also a pain, because he heals every time he hits you. Is that this guy? It's either this guy or the one over there. So you have to DPS... Yep, this, it's this guy. So you literally have to DPS him harder than he hits you, which is not that hard for me to do. Bam! Timestamp. Next boss. I'm doing really well. I'm actually really pleased with this time so far, except for completely screwing up uh, Razor Core. I'm doing really well. Six minutes. I may actually be able to pull this off the whole run. If I don't die to Chromagus. If I die to Chromagus, it's over. I won't even make it back in time. Timestamp. Chromagus is the only part of this fight I'm actually worried about. I'm actually saving... You'll notice I have all... Well, okay, if you're no warriors, you'll notice I have every single cooldown saved for this fight. No... No ex, no elixirs, no nothing. That's my rule. No consumables. But... Whoops. Wish me luck! Come on, come on, come on, come on. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Oh, absolutely everything! Come on, come on, come on. Literally just blow every cooldown and burn into him. I think I've got this. Oh, yes! Oh, that was that was fantastic. I got such good luck there. All he did was the red affliction. That That's a dot, which is pathetic. And if I die, it heals him, which I'm not going to. That was very, very good luck. If he did the bronze one, 
this run would probably be over. All that's left is Nefarian. This is the last boss. And I've got 4 minutes and 45 seconds to do it, as you can see in the lower right there. I can do this, I can do this. The problem is he, he rants a lot, and he's got three phases to his fight. I may not be able to make this just because he won't shut up, and he takes so long. Yes, yes, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. I am the Ferian. Let the game. I am voiced by Chris Metzen, just like half the guys in this game. I will never shut up. Now we're going to actually go to these guys to speed this up, because I'm in a huge hurry. we got to kill 40 of these before he hits his next phase. Fortunately, these guys have no HP. I can literally one-shot every single one of them. Not even kidding. Also, fortunately, this is a very good class to solo Nefarian on, because the only thing he will do for the warrior thing, uh, the warrior callout, is he will force you into Berserker Stance, which doesn't really change my abilities at all. I prefer Battle Stance, of course, because of Rage Jan and I'm arms, but... Yeah, 345. Okay, I can do this, I can do this. Come on, bring it on, bring it on. You'll notice I'm kind of tilting back and forth here. That's because I, I actually need a better angle, so I don't have to do that. Oh, that's not working. Okay, I'll just keep tilting. This is a good time to blow it. I was actually waiting for that, for him to start talking there. To blow Blade Storm and just run through them. And he's gonna land right up here. Yep, there he is. This is gonna be another blow all cooldowns. Or rather, the ones I have left, because I just blew them all in Chromagus. See, that's what I meant earlier when I was talking about my Black Temple run. You really gotta be strategic with all your cooldowns, because... You need to know which bosses you actually need to burn them on, and which ones you need to not waste them on, even if they're up. Especially when you've got three minutes cooldowns like a warrior does. But I think I got this guy. Boom, boom, boom. Timestamp. 17 minutes and 10.1 seconds. I do not count uh, killing these guys as part of killing him, by the way. This is irrelevant. Whew. So, that's Blackwing Lair. Very, very quickly. Except for Razagor, which I completely, utterly screwed up on. Come on, just die. You know what, I'm just gonna let the beat on me for 20 seconds. The server is going to shut down because every Tuesday morning, um, they do a, a maintenance. Let's turn off the sound. There we go. Every Tuesday morning, they do maintenance. Uh, and so the servers, all the servers, the Battle.net servers themselves, actually go down. And, yeah. I can't believe I made that. I really can't. That was actually really good time. Holy crap. Anyway, Stuart, uh... Hang on. Boom! That's kind of what I was waiting for there. Blade storming them. Let's see what he dropped. Judgment. Ten storms. Which one's that one? Oh, it's... The Pure Elementium Band. Head of Nefarian. I've done that long ago. Nefarious. Or, Netherwind Crown. Nothing. Nothing. Worthless. <sighs> no Ashkandi. So anyways, Blackwing Lair in, uh, 17... I need to save that time, because that's a good time. Save it. Yes, he drops Tier 2 Helms and Tier 2 Breastplates ever since Ragnaros, uh, the Rag or no, ever since they got rid of uh, Onyxia and her drops. Or changed them, I guess. I guess. Ah, so I hope you guys had fun. That was really energetic. I can't believe I screwed up Razorgore so badly, so I, I guarantee you sometime next week when I do a Blackwing run again, I'll be able to improve that time. Probably by a considerable amount like several minutes. But, yeah. Let's go ahead and get back to Pandaria here. Ah, stretch. So, yeah, the run resets today. So tonight, as planned, I'll be doing my WoW streaming. I could do Blackwing Lair, and I will be doing uh, Black Temple. Not sure on the rest yet. I'm not sure what else I, uh, people want to see me stream, so I guess I'll ask, uh, both now and then. Anything else you'd like to see me get run, guys? Uh, whoops, 30 seconds, okay. This is the best speed run ever. I've got to repair before the server goes down. And I did it. Well, that was easy. <laughs> okay, i got to get it back upstairs before the server goes down. Yeah. Go, 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 15 seconds. Get to the portal room. Get to the portal room. I can't do the Arnold Schwarzenegger voice at all. I made it! I'm the best ever. I'll see you around, Last Wolf.